So how do we draw this bottle opener right here? I'm gonna draw this line, this line, this line, this line, this line, and that line. And they already told me how far they are pretty much from each other. We have a, a number here, we have a number here, we have this number and this number. Um, um, this 30 though, uh, hmm. Yeah, I would go, I'm gonna go by this number, 43. And let's see what we come up with real quick. So watch this. So I'm gonna start by sketching, and uh, you can draw it anywhere. I'm gonna draw it on this bottom one right here, or what, I guess it's technically the top. And uh, I'm gonna draw a line, and pretty much we're gonna end up with a something, you know what, it's probably good practice to do it from here. So I'm gonna go from here, to here, to here, to here. to here, to here, like that. And um, I do want this one to match with that one for sure, but uh, we can worry about that later. I guess we can, um, can we actually do that now? Let's see, vertical constraint. And I'm gonna say, you should be vertically constrained with that. So they should be locked in together. <clears throat> and uh, and then uh, definitely I forgot to already do that and I should have done that already. So let me actually exit out and, uh, oh, did I just, I didn't push check mark, darn it, oh well. Uh, I'll fix that right now. I forgot to go to the uh, workspace units and change it to millimeters because default is inches. So I'm going to go to millimeters and check mark. And let's go back to the sketch. Sketch. Yeah, there we go. Back to the top. Okay, so we're going to sketch this again. Line. And I, I like to start right here with the origin. Unless you have like a really good reason not to, you know. Oh, look at, see that line lined up now? See that dotted line? That means it's gonna automatically constrain to that. So if you guys see that dotted line, I don't need to do that thing I did last time. Uh, and so it did it again there. And that, that means that this dot is already constrained to that dot. You can see it lined up already. So I don't need to do this uh, vertical constraint I did last time. Now, uh, if we go back to the drawing here, uh, we got 40 for that first section. So let's do that uh, right here. 40 millimeters here, okay. And uh, this should be 40 millimeters over here automatically. I don't know why. I think that's automatically gonna stay 40 on this side, but let's, uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. And then uh, right here, the whole distance right here from all here all the way to here is 83.5. So we can do that. We can say from here to here has to be 83.5, there we go. And uh, this is 40, and this is 83.5. And uh, where are we now? So I have this distance being, oh, wait, 40 is from this spot right here, not from the full edge. Hmm, what is that spot right here? That's the spot from the radius, that's weird. Usually they should have gone to the whole edge. That's okay, uh, because um, 40 is from here, right here and it goes from here, and how much distance is there from here to here? Well, it says six, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this to 40, 46 right here, uh, that distance on my drawing. So, 46. Normally, they should have just gone to the edge drawing, but they went to the point right here for whatever reason. That's kind of weird practice. I've never seen anybody do that before. Um, and I have the overall good. What about this width from this dot to this dot? That should be, the widest point should be 43, right? 43, but that's after, that's after the radius. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, do they have any angles? I'm just double checking there's angles. There's no angles. Okay. And the width from this edge to this edge is 43. So I'm gonna do it with 43 right now. Let's do that. So from here to here is 43. And then um, also I noticed that I don't think that this is centered. So watch, let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna push escape here. I'm gonna grab this line. I'm gonna move this dot. See if it lets me, there, see it did. See how it let me move that dot? See, it's kind of crooked. It's not perfectly straight. It's a little lag here. Uh, so how do we make that perfectly straight? I wish there was a midpoint. 
Um, on some softwares, you hold Control or Shift, and there's a midpoint dot here. Uh, I don't see that here. Um, so what we'll do is this. We will draw a construction line for now. How about that? So uh, how wide is this, by the way, this part right here? I never said how wide that was. Does it say somewhere? So how wide is it from here to here? And funny thing is, is I don't see that anywhere, which is odd, because that's probably an important. Where, where, where's the nine millimeters? Oh, right here. Oh, yeah, thank you. No, actually, it's just nine. Yeah, it's nine times two. Got it. So you see this line right here, this line right here? It lines up to this whole line here, and it goes down to midpoint. So the, so it would be 18. Yeah, good. Uh, actually, I could actually draw that mid this dotted line real quick. It's called a construction line. So let's go over here and go line. Actually, there we go. Actually, look at that. It actually did a midpoint. Wait, did it draw it? It didn't. Did it? Doesn't look like it draw. It didn't draw it for whatever reason. Um, here, I'll just go ahead and do it. It's going to be 18 from here to here. Is 18. There we go. And uh, that means from. That we have to do a little bit of math here. So this is 18. Uh, that means that there's going to be a nine from here to here. From the center of this line is going to be 9, and then minus half of 43. I'm going to get a calculator for this one. So 43 divided by 2 is equal to 21. So from the middle of this line to here should be 21 and a half. But I'm going to minus 9 because I'm going to measure it from that edge, 12 and a half. So because um, I'm going to measure it from this edge. So I'm going to say from this edge to here should be 12.5. And that should put us right in the middle like that. And now it's all, uh, all the lines are black, which means it is fully constrained. Um, but we need to add those radiuses in there. These ones right here, these little fillets. So um, <clears throat> where are we? So don't forget to add these fillets right here, like this. So this one's 19, this little one is six. Uh, this one out here, what is it? It's seven and a half for this outer one but 2.5 for this inner one. Look where the little arrows are pointing. So this little little one right here is 2.5. This wider one is 7.5. This one right here is 6. See how it's set to 5? So we're going to say 6. Enter. And there we go. So it looks like that. And there is a little flat area here, and ours should have a little flat area, and it does. So it is starting to match up. And <clears throat> the last thing I'm going to do for this video, and you can do the rest here, is uh, I'm going to do this, uh, I think, was it a 7.5 out here? It was. 7.5 here. And then th there's a hole here, and then the, the, the little tiny arch on this, the little hole in here is going to be 2.5. So it's going to be a smaller arc because it's on the inside. So, uh... That's the general shape of the outside of this thing right here, the general shape of the outside. Of course, you'll have to draw the inside and make sure you round them. Notice, though, that this is not a perfectly straight line from here to here. There is a slight arc. In fact, it has a huge radius. So if you were to make this a gigantic circle, it would be a big circle. It's a very wide radius. It's not. It almost looks like a straight line, but it's not. That's why it's so big of a radius. And uh, I think that's about it. So that should give you enough guidance to get going.